Well, so this is very interesting that apparently the way the universe works is upon a com upon a platform of previously achieved complexity, chemical, electrical, social, biological, whatever, new forms of complexity can be built that cross these ontological boundaries. In other words, what I mean by that is that biology is based on complex chemistry, but it is more than complex chemistry. Social systems are based on the organization that is animal life, and yet it is more than animal life. So this is a general law of the universe overlooked by science that out of complexity emerges greater complexity. We could almost say that the universe, nature, is a novelty conserving or complexity conserving engine. It makes complexity and it preserves it and it uses it as the basis for further complexity. Now, there's more to this than simply that. I think we all observationally could agree with what has been said so far. The added wrinkle, or an added wrinkle, is that each advancement into complexity, into novelty, proceeds more quickly than the stage that preceded it. This is very profound because it, if accepted as a serious first principle, it ends the marginalization of our own species to, spe to the level of spectator status in a universe that knows nothing of us and cares nothing for us. This is the most advanced uh, position that modern science will allow us. Spectators to a drama we didn't write, shouldn't expect to understand, and cannot influence. But I say, if in fact novelty is the name of the game, if in fact the conservation and complexification of novelty is what the universe is striving for, then suddenly our own human enterprise, previously marginalized, takes on an immense new importance. We are apparently players in the cosmic drama, and in this particular act, of the cosmic drama, we hold a very central role. We are at the uh, pinnacle of the complex of the expression of complexification in the animal world, and somehow this complexity, which is concentrated in us, has flowed over out of the domain of animal organization and into this mysterious domain which we call culture, language, consciousness, higher values. Each stage of advancement into complexity occurs more quickly than the stage which preceded it. After the initial Big Bang, there was a period of billions of years when the universe cooled, stars condensed, planetary systems formed, and then the quickening process crossed an invisible Rubicon into the domain of animal and biological organization. Well, you see, since the, since, uh, the rise of Western monotheism, the human experience has been marginalized. We have been told that we were unimportant in the cosmic drama. But we now know from the feedback that we're getting from the impact of human culture on the earth that we are a major factor shaping 
the temperatures of the oceans, the composition of the atmosphere, the general speed and complexity of speciation on the planet, so forth and so on. A single species, ourselves, has broken from the ordinary constraints of animal nature and created a new world, an epigenetic world meaning a world not based on gene transfer and chemical uh, propagation and preservation of information, but a world based on ideas, on symbols, on technologies, on tools, on ideas downloaded out of the human imagination and concretized in three-dimensional space as choppers, arrow points, particle accelerators, gene sequencers, uh, spacecraft, what have you. All of this uh, complexification occurring at a faster and faster rate. And this brings me then to the second uh, quality or phenomena that science has overlooked, which is the acceleration of complexification, that the early history of the universe proceeded with excruciating slowness. Then life took hold in the oceans of this planet, a quickening of process and evolution, but still things proceeded on a scale of tens of millions of years to clock major change. Then the conquest of the land, higher animals, higher exposure to radiation, faster change, species following species, one upon another. Then uh, 50,000, 100,000, a million years ago, anyway, recently, the crossover into the domain of culture, tool making, myth making, dance, poetry, song, story, uh, and that set the stage for the, the fall into history. The incredibly unusual and self-consuming process that has been going on for the past 15 or 20,000 years. A biological snap of the finger. And yet, in that time, everything that we call human Everything that we associate with higher values has been adumbrated, elaborated, created, set in place by one species, ourselves. This 